Maybe I need to get up to the... That's, and so please describe to me what the aesthetic look is exactly. More like this guy here. Uh, yeah, yeah, so we'll go ahead and read Oh, wow, you really have to come in here? Is this, no, what, is this really happening? He, he met the other guy behind you, bro. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. Um, I'm right into that bad boy. You can stay right there, behind the camera. <laughs> behind the camera. No, see, now that you got me jealous now. That's okay. That's not so fair. You're, you're more in the, in the category like the uh, roof director Arnold. Okay? My man. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Arnold Ferrigno. Huh? Okay. okay. Aesthetic. <laughs> That's great, partner. You two ever go out, out, place everything in its proper place? That does not make sense, but we usually do go, we head to Kroger's. <laughs> and we work. Oh, yeah. I got, I've got a lady waiting for me back home also. She has the most beautiful scrotum. <laughs> 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 oh, oh God! And when she She's sings, dead. she sounds just like a puppy dog. <laughs> How do you nail a photo? This guy getting in the mode, you gotta talk with your eyes. Talk with your eyes. Talk with your eyes. Okay, you so eyes can, you, can you show me a little bit of something? Like, to this camera, I would love to know how to do this. I, I just wanna know. Well, how I do mean, you do? teach me smile, something. You can, you can get a sec, the sexy eyes, then you know, you gotta get the smile. Smile going on some shoes, but. You know. Wait, hold up. You got, I gotta, I gotta try this time, with when you. And when it's time to laugh, I gotta try this you gotta with think you. Of funny right. and start do, do it again, do it again. How do you do it? Teach me. Sexy eyes. The this, sexy eye. This is a sexy eye right here. I can't. Smizing? Smile. So you're smizing. Smizing. Smi okay. Eyes. And then you gotta get the. I, no, the I look like I need to take a poop or something. <laughs> um, <laughs>
Which words were like little toy kinds No sing, no hurt, no one, just a bang, bang Right? Is oh, that it? Yeah, it's, it's something like that. Just a bang, toy bang, guns. rolling off your tongue. <laughs> toy guns. It's no smoke, no bullets. Bang, bang. Water guns. All right. <laughs>
All right, so what we'll do is the easiest way to do this yeah, is I don't want to die. I'm just going to slip my hand out Michael, of this glove. I'm telling you right now, I don't want to die. <laughs> I understand. And I, I, I got a pretty face from, from what my mom told me, so I don't want this gone. I'm going to protect you okay. from these inch and a half long talons, talons mm -hmm. with this thick leather glove. Okay. So I'm going to slide my hand out, okay. and you just slide your hand in and work your fingers in right there. Hold and, up the watch. And he's going to be cool. Everything. He's not going to flap or anything of that nature. Okay. There you go. Just make a fist. Okay. Cool. And you can pet him like this. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to pet him. I'm just going to respect the, uh, the the boundaries that I've just gotten so far. You know what I'm Absolutely. saying? Absolutely. I, I want to make sure it's consensual. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Well, you know, he's a uh, he's he's pretty consensual. He's a little stressed out right now. That's what uh, this yeah, breathing is right there. He's yeah. just like, what's going on here? I don't know wow. Pascal. We've never met. <laughs> this is uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, uh, have mercy! It's gorgeous though. Wow. Well, let me take him from you real okay. quick. And um, wow. Okay. That way, because it's hard to read comments while you got an yeah, owl no on kidding. your fist. No kidding. I'll tell you what, while you read some comments, I'll go over here and, and, and get something else for yeah, you. Yeah, go ahead, with. go ahead. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> let's see, somebody said, uh, oh, oh, Jasmine said, pet them, Pascal. They're so soft and fluffy. You know, I'm going to respectfully decline on that. I think, I, I, you know, it looks fluffy. I can see it from afar. I, I held it. I'm strong, I'm, 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 pop, I'm, I'm very, very uh, happy about that. Whoa! And I, I know this, <laughs> I know this guy. Yeah. I know this guy. Hey, Queenie. Hey, Queenie. So, oh boy. See, okay, so me and Queenie have, we got, a, we got, we got history. We got history, me and Queenie, you know. Queenie, come here. She's gonna be your friend now. She and I got, got history, okay. She's been in a couple skits. Oh, she's 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 hell bent on this now. She's been on a, a couple skits with me and everything. Hey. Oh. So can you explain to everybody what kind of animal is a lemur? Because I, I, so, I'm sure there's a lot of people so, that's so, only seen it in Madagascar. So Queenie, right? Queenie here is a ringtail lemur. Yeah. You know. You know, the same lemur that you remember as a kid on Madagascar, the cartoon. Mm -hmm. We got to party, party, you know? <laughs> and uh, that's, that was King Julian. I'd Ju like to move it, move it. That's King go. Julian. And this is Queenie. She's, a, she's the queen of our lemur pack. And, you know, we, we rescue lemurs, and uh, they end up coming to us from Let different ways. Let me, see. <laughs> Let me see if he does this. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, perfectly. There we go. There we go. <laughs> so, uh, how long have you had? Because I know that you have more than just one lemur, right? Yeah, we've so, got nine lemurs now. Nine. Yeah, and we're, we, we. Why? Why the? Uh, why the love and the obsession with the the nine lemurs? Well, I certainly do love lemurs. I mean, they they're they're like a cat, except yeah, um, except a lot more cuddly, you know. Um, and, and not nearly as much problems. They're nicer than monkeys. You know, monkeys can be pretty, um, pretty terrifying at times. Um, yeah. And so they're just a pretty calm, calm creature, as long as you got a big enough enclosure for them. The, that's the big thing about them, is they have to have a lot of room. <laughs> just gonna so, have at it, man. <laughs> hey, have you and her, it, man. You know no, look at her, she's just all laid yeah. back in your, in your lap there. There you she's go. Like, you just I'm just her... securing the bag for her. <laughs> I'm just securing that bag. Hey, we Can all have our back back? we all have our roles, right? Get this bag back. Yeah, just open it up a little bit for her. There you go. So she can put her head down in there. There, there you, you go. go. My gosh. So, uh, <laughs> like I said, so uh, is not as mean, not as mean as a monkey, and uh, more not as aloof as a cat. Yeah. You know. <laughs> so. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of cats, so hey, I'll take a lemur any day. We'll talk. <laughs> but uh, you know, what made you go for uh, to start getting so many lemurs in the first place? You well, know? I never intended, never intended to have lemurs at all. Um, right. We were just uh, called in by the Missouri Department of Conservation one time, and we helped them out, and um, the the lemurs could not go back to their owners, their original owners, and so we kept them. And then the next thing you know, we got another one, 
and then another one showing up yeah. and so four years later now we got nine yeah. and some of them are super nice like Sorry. uh like uh, Queenie here, oh, wow. she's she's really really nice. Ooh, but we've got a couple of them that you have to beware, because um, they they have surprisingly sharp incisors, mm -hmm. like a raccoon. Yeah, you know. And so the ones that are not as sweet as Queenie here, um, slice you open like that. Yeah, man, that, it's a beautiful beautiful animal. All right. I'm serious. It's just so. Do you see people doing that more like a domesticating? Uh, Lemurs? Well, you know, people get lemurs as as little babies because they're super cute when they're little teeny tiny things. Yeah. But um, once they start jumping and people realize how fast they are and how high they can jump, then they want to get rid of them pretty quick. Right. Okay. Now we're getting weird. Now we're getting officially weird. Okay. So uh, what is this? So this is a North American alligator. And uh, her name's Sabine. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, she's, she's a young alligator. She's less than a year old. But the way you hold an alligator is you take your two fingers, put it right here, all right? And mm -hmm. then you hold it like this. Don't, don't put your finger in the mouth right there because yes. that's the part that hurts. That's an idea that you don't want to do. Yeah. Oh, so you want me to do that? I'd like you to hold it. So okay. show me two. one more time because I don't want to lose my finger. So with your left hand like this. All right, now she gets handled a lot, so she's cool. You know, and you just kind of secure her like that. All right, left hand, two fingers. His mouth is open, like he's up to no good. There you go. Wait, so where? <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> I, I can't can. do it, man. Just like this. Why? why where did you? Okay, hold up, hold up. Before I start holding animals and stuff, let, let me let me try to find some trust in you really okay. quick. What, what made you be, realize that you were uh, uh, good at this stuff? Like well, at animals, like so, you just suddenly one day woke up and just said, I want to have animals. I want to I want to wrangle animals it, for a living. It, it was a long path. OK, so you what's know? this? So when I, I grew up in the Catahoula swamps okay. of Louisiana. And I've been catching alligators since I was like, you know, that tall. And uh, but then I did a long stint in the Navy as a nuclear weapons technician on submarines, blah, 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 life. blah. Okay. And then one time, uh, eventually, I was vice president of a construction company, and it went bankrupt. And so I went to my wife, and I said, baby, I'm going to do something I want to do. And so I started working with Birds of Prey first. Yeah. And then one thing led to another, and um, now I've got two alligators in St. Louis. You got two? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the little one. Of course, that's a little one. So there's, yeah. there's a there's, obviously there's a bigger one. A little bigger, not much, like maybe three times this size. And Mr. Snappy, you've met him before at the Renaissance Fair. I did. Yeah. As a matter of fact, you got video of him when you went to the St. Louis Renaissance Fair. Yes, I did. Mr. Snappy. Yes, I did meet yeah. him. He's wow. About twice this size. Yeah, then. he's a big guy. So he's a big guy. Uh, yeah. You know what? I'm just gonna let you uh, hold that one. Okay. Well, you can. You know, but that's. Beautiful, man. You can fill them out. But like, that's quite a, a, a an experience, quite a, a journey to go through all that stuff and then realize, yeah. all right, this is this is really my passion. This is what I really want to do. Right. And then your wife just kind of going, okay, baby, do it. Uh, like, how no, does she? Yeah, I was gonna say, no. how does she? How does she take it? So, so my wife Bonnie is a doll. I mean, she is. A oh, she's sweetheart. amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but she doesn't particularly love animals like <laughs> like me she tolerates <laughs> she tolerates she I loves animals them from afar right she loves animals because she loves me right you know kind of what the one of those kinds of things but um i've i've proven myself you know i'm a great husband and she goes along with the plan you know yeah. um but anyway you, you know i started this pro i started wildlife command center and it's kind of militant in thought process you know wildlife command center Right. And, uh, and from that, I've got five divisions now. You know, we've got Wildlife Command Center Movie Animals, where right. we do movies and commercials right. and TV. We've got Wildlife Command Center, where we rescue people mm -hmm. from wild animals. And then we do some pest control stuff, you know. And then we've got the nonprofit that operate in all the cities that we're in, uh, Raptor Rescue, where we mm -hmm. go out and rescue birds of prey that are injured. We provide first aid and triage. Then we transport them to the hospital. And then we've got uh, Avian Strike Force, which is where we take the hawks that we train 
and we go out and we delete pigeon populations and things of that nature. So uh -huh. these five divisions kind of form the core of Wildlife Command Center. Awesome, man. Yeah. That's awesome. And it's a lot of fun. Wait, so what's the problem with, hold up, hold up. You just said you just delete pigeons. pigeons. Explain this. Is yeah. there a problem with pigeons? I thought, I thought pigeons were cool. Uh, like, pigeons are not cool. Uh, pigeons are responsible for transferring a lot of disease. So really, when we, when we consider di zoonotic disease, those types of problems that can be transferred from animals to humans, mm -hmm. pigeons are all number one on it. Um, especially wow. when we consider things like histoplasmosis and chlamydia. I don't know if you knew that or not, but yeah. So Did you guys know this, fam? Yeah. Y'all know about chlamydia is being spread by pigeons? Absolutely. Yep, yep. And so if we've got a warehouse, like we got a That's warehouse or a facility with a bunch of workers in it, yeah. and uh, there's some pigeons make their way in there and they're pooping all over the workers and one of them gets chlamydia, we'll come in and remove all those pigeons. Wow. You know. how, how does it work? How do you do it? What's the trick? Uh, so we usually come in at night birds. when everybody, we usually come in at night when everybody's gone, we got like five or six Harris Hawks and we just turn them loose. And then we take a laser and we shine the laser on the pigeon and the Harris Hawks like a guided missile goes right up there, catches the pigeon, brings it down to us on the ground. What? And then we, and then we transfer it off. Bruh. Yes, sir. You're lying. I'm not. You're lying. Wait, wait, wait. See so, me so you bring in hawks. Like you train literally hawks. bring in trained hawks. Specifically, I love the Harris Hawks. A Harris Hawk. A Harris Hawk. A couple mm -hmm. of them. A couple. Like a gang of them. They work together. They, they roll in deep. Mm -hmm. And then you, you go into this particular area. Mm -hmm. How do you find pigeons then? Where do you find the pigeons? Like, do uh, they, they, go they poop all over people. And so we're just, we just look up. Oh, so you just go down. Oh, there's some, there's some excrement. And then we just look there up. They are. And there they are. And then you shine a laser. Uh -huh. And this trained Harris Hawk, Hawk goes, goes straight up. to. That's insane. It's fun. That's insane, yo. Okay. It's a crazy thing. Oh, and okay. you know, it's a, it's a job description on Indeed. You know, Harris Hawk trainer, not really. <laughs> I was going to say, is that for real? <laughs> oh, my God. I wonder how much they get paid. That's yeah. what I'd like to know. A lot. Wow. That's crazy, man. Um, but that's very cool. Mm -hmm. That's very, very cool. So, alligator, that's, that's, that's a new one for me, a baby alligator. He seems to like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, they like being scratched right here. Um, wow. Yeah, he really likes that. Wow. Wow, that's funny. That's Queenie. Queenie well, just wants she to wants back out. out. Mm -hmm. She likes she likes standing on your shoulder because you got broad shoulders. So yeah, you know, plenty of place for her to stand though. Strong, strong shoulders. Exactly. Strong shoulders. Uh, but anyway, if you guys have any questions for Michael, please comment down below. I'll be sure to read them live. Okay, so don't be shy. Comment down below. I guess this I'm on this camera, right? Am I on this camera? Okay. Yeah, so don't be shy. Uh, uh, comment down below. I'm trying to read your comments and all that. Definitely, uh, most definitely hit that like button. Don't forget to hit the like button. Get those likes all the way up. I know this is different. I know that we're not usually, uh, I know we're usually talking about uh, how the world's going to implode in two days type stuff. Um, but I wanted to give you guys a little bit of something different, give you guys a little bit of variety. So I hope you guys are enjoying this, doing something different. There's an alligator in my face right now, and that's totally normal. So... <laughs> Please comment down below, hit those like that like button, send it all the way up. And uh, if you got any questions for me, please, or for Michael, not for me, for Michael, please comment down below. Um, Donald Davis said, I don't like Pascal, I don't like flying bats. Wow, pigeons are, are dirty. Uh, oh, oh, Mark, Mark Jones just asked something. Uh, where, uh, he says, Pascal, where can I get a lemur? That's a very good question. Uh, where can I? Where, where can well, one get a lemur? And so, what's the process? How long is the process? So in one? the state of Missouri, mm -hmm. lemurs, it's against the law for lemurs to cross the state line either on either way. So all lemurs that are in Missouri have to right. stay in Missouri. However, there are breeders in Missouri that, that breed lemurs. You know, you, you, you can find them fairly easy. There's an auction called Lolly Brothers where they do exotic animals. You oh, okay. can go down there and get one. I just uh -oh. warn you that baby lemurs are cute. They're only like this big when they're little, right. you know? Uh, but they grow up, and when they're, cu when they're little, they're cute, because they're like all over you, and they're hugging on you, and stuff like that. But when they get the size of, of uh, Queenie there, you have to have a 12-foot tall enclosure outside and a 10-foot space, because oh, wow. they need room, because 
the, you ever heard of leaping lemurs? Yes. That's a thing, and they leap. Like, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, well, she can jump from the ground 10 feet straight up, like in one leap. And so if you got them in your house, then you're not going to have any pictures on the walls. You're mm -hmm. not going to have any curtain rods. You're not going to have any glassware. Right. <laughs> Knickknacks or for, forget it. Right, right, right. Know? So when they grow up, they're, they're just a handful. You know, so That's they don't cool. really make great pets. Like they're, it's better just to go visit something or invite us over for to do a birthday party for you. Then you can have some lemurs. You know what? A once a year lemur experience is a good thing. There you go, Mark Jones. Answered right there. You know what I mean? If you want to do something, do a party. They're all over the country, by the way, the Wildlife Command Center. So. Uh, definitely go check them out and they can hook you up. You know, you may not want to have a lemur for forever. You may just want to have a lemur for a day. So they do private parties as well. Immortal Badass just asked, uh, Michael, when are you going to make Pascal a trainee for the day? Uh, hey, we're talking, let's do it Thursday. Let's do it Thursday. A trainee, a thir trainee for a day. You just follow me around. You know, when I stick my hand down in a pipe and pull a raccoon out, then you can pull the second one out. I, I, you, you, we need to sit down and talk about this one, like <laughs> make sure it's fully thought out. Um, yeah. but, but at least just say yes to the idea. <laughs> I'll oh, say okay. yes to the idea. Okay. Hell yes. All right. Yeah. I'll say hell yes to the idea. Yeah. And, then, gotta, and then we got to talk about that we'll, a little bit. We'll, yeah, I think it'd be great. Follow us around. Hell yeah, that'd be fun. Oh, that'd yeah. be fun. I, I think yeah. it'd be fun as long as it makes sense. Go pull some skunks out from underneath the porch. Sense. <laughs> I ain't touching those skunks <laughs> unless you got a, you know, buckets of tomato, tomato sauce or yeah, that juice work. or whatever. That doesn't work. It doesn't work? No, no, no. It doesn't. So there, oh. is a, there is a recipe for cutting skunks. So this is something great for your viewers. If, any, if your dog gets sprayed or if you get sprayed, here's the recipe. All right, you ready? It's a quart of peroxide, a squirt of dishwashing liquid, okay. and a half a box of baking soda. You mix it up really fast because okay. you only got five minutes. That's as long as it lasts. Oh, okay. But, but there's a chemical re reaction where the peroxide is releasing oxygen molecules. And during that reaction, it cuts skunk. It goes from horde smell to green peanuts. That's what it smells like, green peanuts. You know? Something you, knew, you, you learn every day. It smells way better than that. skunk. Yep. Wow. Okay. Yep. But the chemical reaction only lasts for five minutes, so you gotta mix up a new batch if you don't use it all. The uh, the tomato juice does not work. Does not work. Tomato juice does not work. Tomato juice doesn't work okay. at all. So what else you got here? What other animals you got? Well, um, I have eight other friends for you. Eight. Eight. Eight friends for eight you. Eight friends of what? Well, they're, it's your favorite. I brought eight oh, snakes with no, us. No, he just said it. He said it, snakes. Yep, I said it, snakes. Okay, snakes. Um, well, let's, go ahead. let's start out slow. Let's we're going to start slow? Let's okay. just start slow. Let's start with we're my gonna, favorite. We're, we're going to start a little Yeah. My favorite, slow. smallest one I have. Mm. Her name's Godiva. Yes. Like fine chocolate. Yes. You know? Yes. That's Godiva. <laughs> this is Whoa. Godiva. So Godiva Whoa. is an IMG red tail boa. When she was Whoa. born, not, I don't want to. So grab her up here with that hand. When she was born, she was light brown and tan. Oh my! And every time she sheds, oh my. she gets more beautiful. What the hell? Look at that you face. Take her. Look at that face. <laughs> I feel so uncomfortable. Snakes. I thought we were. I thought we were gonna do like. Whoa. I thought we were gonna like put them on you. You want to put around. them on me? Just let them kind of crawl around. They, they don't go and like they're not nah, biters. They, so all of my snakes are tap trained, and the feeding response, the biting response, yeah, is whenever I first pulled her out, I tapped her like this, and she's like, "Okay, we're not eating, and I'm not gonna bite. I'm just gonna crawl." Right. That's what, that's all they do. So why don't you just, I'll just put her on your neck and go get another one. <clears throat> you okay? I, th I think you can do this. You can just let her crawl wherever. All right? Okay. How's that feel? You know, I recently did a video called Snake Massage. Snake Massage. 
Yeah, because that's a thing. Totally normal. Totally normal. Okay. All right, so, so now we're going to go the opposite what direction. Is that? We're going to okay. go the opposite direction. Opposite. So this is a red tail boa as well. Same kind as Godiva. That thing's gigantic. Oh, this is a baby. Oh, that's a baby. Yeah, he's only a year it's old. It's a baby, guys. It's a baby. Like, so, I feel very stiff right now. So this is, this is Sonny. Oh, my God. This is Sonny, okay. and he is a albino red tail boa, the same kind as Godiva, Hi, but buddy. just the other, the other, uh, the opposite spectrum oh. on <clears throat> on color. Wow. So here, why don't you just hold him? Just put your hand out like this. Put my hand out like what? <laughs> like this, because I want to live like this. Now you know we just did a big photo oh, shoot with a whole bunch of little little girls that were models. And don't try to don't try to do that to me right now, bro. <laughs> don't try to do that to me now, man. Wow, the thing is just so strong. Isn't that isn't that awesome? Oh my God. Wow. Um, I got one going up the side of my face right now. That is um extremely uncomfortable. So I'm so just. <laughs> So this is what red tail boas look like. You are like. not about to put that on me right now. So that, yeah. is, that is just what red tail boas look like. That's the normal coloration. Um, so now you have. You are literally just doing this So right look now. at this pink this one. This is actually happening right now. Look at okay. this pink one. So, so that is a armful. Ah! That's an armful of red tail boas. Every, every pr conceivable color. Okay. That you could want. I. Um, Okay, guys, you're doing really good. Um, so now, what is that? So now, now we got. What another, is that? What is that? So, so now we got another. What is that? So now we got another baby. Oh, oh my god! So, so now we got another baby. Oh so my this, god! This is Goldie. Michael. <laughs> She's only two years old. Michael. You're, Michael. you're good. Here, just, just. <laughs> Don't don't make any sudden movement. Sure not. I'm not doing any of that don't, right don't now. Don't make any sudden movement. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no no no. Hey, okay. Hey, okay, I got to live. You got three snakes coming up your shoulder. I understand that. I don't know you, if you you're saying a lot for me, buddy. I I'm, I um okay. Thank you. <laughs> this <sighs> Breathe. I, I tell right. you what, I'm, I'm gonna remove some. You're gonna of these. take some, damn right you are. <laughs> this because I got, I think you got some fans that want to know. Oh my God! That want to know what what what. <laughs> what in the this world one wants is. to be my friend, big time. Ooh, I just heard one of them yelp. Okay, that's one <laughs> or two or one. I don't know how many you took. That thing was I took two. Wow, those things. Let me take this one, and I'll take this one. Just let go of that tail there. Okay. Let him right. go. Now and you just then got Goldie. No, I just got Goldie. You're just all, normal. You're all wrapped totally up, normal. man. Yeah. T totally normal. Yeah, just hanging out with, with snakes. Yeah, this is what it looks like uh, hanging out with the devil. Just so you know. Why do I feel like I'm part of the, the Lil Nas X music video? <laughs> <laughs> okay. There you go. There you have y'all. Snakes. Uh, wait. So this is more. this is Goldie's this is Goldie's boyfriend. Goldie. I call him Papa Lav. Papa Lav. Papa this Lav. This one is getting really already wrapped around my leg. Wow. Yeah, he's just hanging you just on. Wanted, you just really wanted to just torment me today. Thank you. Oh my gosh. And then and then our favorite, you know what minions are? You know what minions are? Minions? Uh like uh like like the uh the little the little cute little little bitty. or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well this is Miss Minion. She's just a little girl. <laughs> there you go. Okay. So now you have uh, oh. 172 pounds of snakes on you. Oh my god. Right? You're doing great, man. I'm proud of you. Fabulous. Like, like you got this going on. Yeah, thanks. You know? I am uh, forever so, changed. How, how is that for a snake massage? 
Oh my God. Um, it's not that comfortable for a steak <laughs> mas massage. Just to be completely straight funky with you, bro. Uh, didn't expect it was going to be this kind of story today, but uh, yeah. there you have it. There, there you, you have it. Thank That's you. That's it. Uh, this See, was really just starting to choke my nut. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! Whoa, I didn't mean to step on his tail. Um, so, you guys got any questions? Comment in the comment section. Is this the same snake or is there two here? Why does it, looks it look like, like this? It looks like there's one, but it's, it's two. This one's... Uh, yeah, I, this one's wrapped around my leg, man. Y'all are joined this at the is totally normal. now. Okay. You know? So. You know? Something new every day. It's something new something every day. New. Wow. So gold. I don't know how you get comfortable with snakes, bro, because for me, like... You look perfectly comfortable. No, I am not. <laughs> I am far <laughs> from that. But I've always wondered, like, what makes somebody comfortable? Like, how do you find comfort in holding a snake? Because I'm always thinking, he's going to snap. He's yeah, going to well, attack. Certainly, you know, you do and he's need, sniffing you need my to, crotch right now, and it's very uncomfortable. <laughs> you, you've got to definitely train your snakes. If you're going to handle big snakes like this, one, okay. you, you do need to learn their body language. Yes. You know, where it's like there's nothing threatening going on with any of this body language. This is all just curious. Sure. They're just, just kind of smelling you. She's like, you smell like a lemur. I think I could eat that. Word. And no, I don't want to <laughs> die. I don't want to die today. I don't, I don't want to die by hosting. No, their their feeding response is completely oh. turned off. Okay, because you know? they they're, so, they've been fed before you. No, I yeah. tap train them. I tap. Train so just them. tapping. Yeah, just tap, tap, tap on tap, it tap, turns that feeding response tap, off. Tappy. They know that we're we're going to be out with you know cute little wow. models over at Studio Eight Five Eight, and you know they're like we're not going to we're not going to do anything wow, uh, aggressive. Wow, so, this is insane, there you go. man. There you go. I am forever changed. I think you are. I think you're ready to be a trainee for a day now, you know? If it has to deal with snakes, I'm cool with it, man. But you're talking about damn skunks, though. <laughs> that's another, that's a whole other Charles Dickens story that I'm not ready for right, right. now. Right, and... But that was fun. That was, under, that was uh, educational. Let's just say that. That was very... It's always a good education. I just don't understand how people can get comfortable with snakes like that, man, or have them as pets. You know what I'm saying, Sess? Like well, you, you know, there's not, there's not a lot of love with snakes, but if you, need a, if you wanted a pet that's, you know, fairly low maintenance and you don't have to love on them all the time, snakes are the way to go. So you know? Wow, that's a, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing, man. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful thing. So now, if people want to have, like, be able to have you, uh, you know, bring in these snakes for uh, a photo shoot or for a movie. Because I know that you have other types of animals too. So, mm -hmm. what other anim animals do you have? So uh, we, we've yeah. got we've got Tyson, the uh, red, the baby red kangaroo. He's yeah. a giant red kangaroo. Uh, we just got a new baby wallaby, which is a little a little white wallaby. Wow. And uh, mostly that's that crazy, stuff right? is for Rocco's modern life for show. Oh, yeah. hey, he looks like that, too. Really? Yeah, he That's really dope. does. He's pretty cool. I didn't bring him because um, the, the reticulated pythons eat wallabies on a regular basis, mm -hmm. and so I just didn't want to have all that going on on the stage. <laughs> too much drama. <laughs> Plus, Way he's so, he's so cute. You know, he's just, right. a little, he's just a little white wallaby. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but a lot of fun, a lot of fun with the, the animals. But if wow. birthday parties and events, you know, we're out at the Renaissance Fair every year. Uh, we do two or three different studios here in St. Louis where we're out there regularly with the models. And then, of course, you know the movies. It's always a lot of movie yeah. stuff. And I've got live rattlesnakes, too. Yeah, I know you have uh, venomous, right? They're mm -hmm. called venomous snakes. Mm -hmm. and, I mean, like, how are you able to uh, deal with that, especially, you know, you're dealing so, with snakes that are So it's equipment. Venomous. It's, it's about equipment, you know, having yeah. proper safety equipment. In, involved. I think I'm gonna have to get these guys before they hit the camera. Word, you know. So we'll just Jeez. put these guys up for now. These guys are massive. He he doesn't want to go. He doesn't want to go, y'all. No, nope. he doesn't want to go, guys. They want to stay oh with Pascal. God. Yeah, oh, man. man. Pascal's cool. <laughs> um, wow. Uh, let's see. Was let's see. Any questions for you for for him right now, guys? Any questions? Oh my God. 
Sugar glider. <laughs> uh, you can pet an owl, but you have huge snakes around you. Yeah. Oh, that's 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 Malia. Malia from Australia. She's throwing shade at me all the way from Australia. Oh Thank my! You. Thank you. Throwing shade from at me all the way from Australia. She said, "You can't pet a, pet an owl, but uh, you have huge snakes around you." Laughy face. Thank you. Thank you so much for roasting me. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Um, yep. <laughs> somebody, uh, games and gossip, just said, uh, "We get to see Pascal's thighs for the first time." Laughing my ass off. Usually they just see like this. Oh, they just see this. They don't get to see the full. They don't see every. They don't get to see from the waist down. The all whole, of this the whole glory. Six foot five yeah, frame. You know yeah. all of this glory. You know. <laughs> um, but uh, but yeah, man. Um, can Pascal help you with snakes every week? Mark Jones, can you stop, man? Just stop it, bruh. Just stop it. Stop. <laughs> hey, do you mind if I get Queenie back out? I think she wants to hang sure. with you. Come um, on, you, you know. Come just, on, we because uh, I want to be able to, you know, have you guys uh, uh, tell people how you can, uh, how they can find you, and et cetera. I also want to talk about your YouTube channel. Yeah, absolutely. Because um, we, you definitely have a YouTube channel. So, um, any kind of animals you don't work with, Noli just asked. Noli D on YouTube just asked. No, we any we, animals you don't work with. We we work with everything, especially. Anything that is being a nuisance in the urban environment. So, so anything that's being a nuisance in the urban environment. Okay. Is she? Hey. I'm trying. <laughs> she's trying she's to. Like, she's like. Go. She's like. Let's give it. Give, give it, it, man. Let's take it. There you go. Yeah. So, um, so you know, in the, in the St. Louis area, we we have a lot of problematic animals, you know, squirrels and raccoons and skunks and all that thing. You go down to Little Rock, one of my offices down there, mm -hmm. we got alligators and armadillos and, yeah. and all kinds of things of that nature. But we work with every single type of animal and it's on a nuisance. Um, on the set, it really depends on what the movie calls for. A lot of times the movies will give me six month notice and if we need to find an animal like I had to find a water buffalo one time, right. you know. Uh, it gives us time to get out there and find, find somebody that might have one as a pet, and then we go see if it's trainable and, uh, and work it from there. That's amazing. Uh, because That's I know that you fun. have all the way out west as far as uh, Sacramento. Sacramento. Mm -hmm. um, so like I said, guys, the, you know, he's, he's all over, all over the country. Um, so like I said, if you're out west, if you're out in, down south, et cetera, uh, he is all over the place, New Mexico, California, mm -hmm. uh, yep. Arkansas, mm -hmm. Nevada, Nevada. Yep. Um, so yeah, you know. And speaking of Nevada, and my YouTube channel. Yes. So we, I do a thing where when I travel a lot. Obviously, these, all these different cities, and also I'm an actor, so I do a lot of movies. And when I travel, I like to do this little game. It's called Cash Quest. Yes. Cash Quest. Cash Quest. So a few people and have called into the show about Cash Quest. Yeah, so whenever okay. I'm out and about and I got some time, I'm not on the set making movies, um, I'll go out and hide a an egg with a $100 bill in it, and then I'll make a video of it, Right. put it on my YouTube channel, and if somebody watches the, the video, they can pretty much just walk right up to the egg and they got 100 bucks, you know? It's not a bad deal. Yeah. They just got to watch the videos. They got to watch the video on YouTube. And then find um, the egg. And then find the those egg. those clues mm -hmm. on the video. And then, and then they, they call in to the Pascal show. And they call into my show. Yep, to verify that, that to verify that they found it. And uh, <laughs> and then and then they get a $100 bill. And then I also go out and interview them and talk to them, have a fun, have a fun time with it. Yeah. We're going to take it bigger. OK, so now we can talk about it. We, we can, can talk, talk about, it? about the cash quest. Yes, in so St. Louis. Okay, so tell me Wildlife about Wildlife Command Center's extraordinary mm -hmm. cash quest. So it's bigger. Okay, so how big it's, it's is extraordinary? A hundred thousand dollars. What? Seriously? A hundred thousand uh, dollars. Yep. Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. How does that work? So break that so, down for me. So. I'm, I'm in the process. Because Seth is about to leave. He's already. <laughs> <starting to record laughs> He's now. So so we're hiding. 12 eggs in the St. Louis area. <clears throat> and if a team, which there's going to be a sign up soon, mm -hmm. if a team or an individual finds 10 of them, then they qualify for the $100,000 grand prize. 
So it's going to be a lot of fun. So they find all 10. If they find if 10 of the team, 12. Or 10 of the 12, sorry. If they find 10 of the 12, then, then they'll qualify for $100,000. Yep. 100,000. 100,000. And 100. But if they don't find all 10, they wow. still, there's still $100 in each one. You know? Wow. That sounds insane. So when does that start off? When does that start uh, taking off? Well, right now we're still working with That's it. Insane. Um, we're 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 getting everything geared up, getting mm -hmm. the rules polished up, you right. know, um, getting the okay from the different state parks where we're hiding the eggs, make sure all that kind of stuff is happening. But um, but we're we're going to be rolling this out. It's going to be big. We're we're hoping to hit the the middle of June when everybody's vaca you know, out of school and <clears throat> maybe. They just don't have anything to do as a family. Yeah, they can go out and to some of these really safe parks and and uh, areas where they can look for these. And all they got to do is go to, to the YouTube channel. The videos are going to be right there. Right. Literally walks walks right up to wherever the uh, the treasures are, and there's going to be clues that to help you find the treasures. And it's just going to be a, a good old-fashioned treasure hunt. That's exciting, man. I'm, yeah. I'm super excited for that, man. Yeah, it's going to be a you lot. Know, of fun. I'll be the one who finds the hundred thousand dollars. Watch, right? Watch. I'll find it. I'll find all ten. I'll find ten yeah. out of twelve. Watch with as, the quickness. As, as soon as we get all the details, uh, follow up. We're going to have a little video, a little thirty-second video. Yeah. Put it on your show, and it'll tell everybody the exact rules, the exact exactly. time it's going to be laid out, exactly where you got to go how you register a team, all of those details. Yeah, it's going to be fun. I love that. I love that. But anyway, regardless, everybody needs to go to his YouTube channel, Wildlife Command Center, and go and crush that subscribe button regardless, just in case he forgets to send me the footage for the, the promo, because that happens sometimes too. Yeah, so yeah. at least you get an alert to know when that, that new epic cash quest Starts launching off. Extraordinary. You know cash extraordinary. Quest. Sorry. Wildlife Command Center, extraordinary cash quest. There it is. You know what I'm saying? So go to Wildlife Command Center and go and hit crush that subscribe button. All right. Trust me, you're going to want to know. They should go to the YouTube channel anyway. Period. Especially if they have kids. Because we have some super cute, kid friendly lemur videos on there where um, the lemurs are doing all kinds of cute, fun things, you know? Um, one of the things that we love to do is we get these yum boxes from across the country and yeah. around the world. And it's the snacks that uh, someone in Sweden might have or somebody in the Ukraine might, might eat, you know, the, the common snacks. And we let the lemurs taste them and see if the lemurs like them, you know? That, we, you know, we, we taste yeah. them too. Yeah, I was going to say you try them too. Yeah, and, uh, it, that's that's kind of fun though. You it know is what I mean? fun to see what they like, what they don't like. Yeah, but because it seems like they eat everything though. So yeah, but they definitely have personalities. Right. Yeah, you know, um, for instance, we've got one named Loki. Um, she will literally eat tape, glue, like sh literally anything she can get in her mouth, she'll eat. Queenie here is a little bit pickier. She likes things that are a little fruity, you know, that are a little sweet. She's loving the marshmallows in that. In yeah, that, this is all out of marshmallows in, in now. <laughs> so, he, she, she, so she's really upset right now. She, she's talk. like, where's the marshmallows? Yeah, she, that's all she's looking yeah. for. She's like, but the, the Rainshell lemurs, we also have a camera in the cage with them, and we picked the funnest uh, mm -hmm. video of the lemurs just running and chasing each other and yeah. having a good time. And, you know, we put some little animations to it. Um, it, it's really, really good family-friendly video. Just Wildlife awesome. Command Center. Wildlife Command Center, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and uh, but I like those the, those unboxings, and you let them try out the candies and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. it's, it's nice and different, uh, for sure. Um, and I, I, I'm allegedly supposed to be doing one with them uh, very, very soon. So I'm excited yeah. about about jumping on and, and getting on his channel and having some fun. It's gonna with, be a lot of fun with Queenie and maybe another lemur, right? Another yeah, one. so I think we're going to have Queenie and Bear. Nice. Yeah. Bear, Bear came to us as a rescue. He was super obese. Like, just he was just fed a horrible diet. Right. Wasn't really uh, socialized all that well. And uh, he's been on a diet for almost a year now, and he's looking fit. Like, oh. he's got a waist. Okay. Lost his gut. Right. You know, he lost all that chubby chub like there. You put so, him on keto. So, gotcha. Yeah, he is on keto. So am I. But um, 
But he, we think he's ready to do a yum box. Like, let him have a little day of a treat. Right. You know? So yeah. I think we're going to bring him out whenever you come do the yum box. Oh, I'm looking forward yum to box. it. Yeah, he's, a cool, he's, a, it. he's a cool, very cool lemur. That's awesome, man. Yep. That's awesome, man. Okay, so unfortunately, we got to wrap up. we gotta, we got to wrap up the show, unfortunately. But please, um, which one? Camera one, two, two, one. Okay. Um, guys, uh, please go subscribe to Wildlife Command Center. Go and check him out. Um, he's got all this really great stuff, all kinds of great content on there, everything from lemurs to other animals, etc. even some home remedies to get rid of some of those pesky pests that you have to deal with on a daily, be daily basis. So definitely go check out Wildlife Command Center on YouTube. Unfortunately, we are wrap up the show. I do appreciate everybody for coming on and also uh, for uh, Charles Rhodes for becoming a member of the show today. Thank you so much for joining the family. It really does mean a lot. Um, and for those of y'all who are new that are tuning in right now that haven't done it yet, please go hit that subscribe button, hit that like button down below. Like I said, if you enjoyed this conversation and enjoyed this uh, little variety today, uh, in, you know, in comparison to what we usually do uh, uh, on a normal show, uh, please definitely crush that uh, like button down below, okay? And uh, yeah, hit that join button. You know what I mean? Become a member of the Pascal Show family. Like I said, $4.99 a month helps uh, fuel this show so I can keep giving you your stories of the day. So please hit that join button and become a member of the Pascal Show family. Anyway, it's time to get going. You know, uh, Queenie wants to say bye, I guess. She's, she's, she's mm -hmm. getting super hyped about saying goodbye. But... Um, I will see you guys very, very soon. Michael, again, thank you so much for bringing hey. all these wonder wonderful uh, animals with you today. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I am forever changed. I've, I've dealt with snakes one other time. One other time. Queenie concurs. And uh, still, still awkward as hell. <laughs> still awkward. Still an awkward feeling. But you know what? I had a lot of fun. Had a lot of fun. Hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well. But anyway, Queen wants to say goodbye. It's time to get going. Be good to yourselves. Be good to one another. And I'll see you guys tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. This is the Pascal Show. Bye. Queenie, come back. What the hell? <laughs>